Good morning, everybody. I feel like it's been a while since I have filmed on the way to campus. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. How are you? I hope this voiceover finds you well. In case you didn't know, I'm a fourth year social policy PhD student in the greater Boston area. I have vlogged a little bit of my doctoral journey here on YouTube, but as I enter the second half of my program, I really want to start sharing a bit more on my channel. So welcome to episode one of what I will fondly title my dissertation slash PhD slash doctoral slash grad school diaries. I've been inspired by some other grad students documenting their experience in their programs on this platform, and I wanted to join in on the fun. This first episode is a bit on the chattier side and might feel slightly disjointed because a lot of these are random clips that I filmed before I decided I'd be doing this series. Despite this, episode one is special to me because it captures the before and immediate after of my dissertation proposal defense. We have a new school year starting soon, and I'm really excited to bring y'all along with me as I enter the fourth year of my program. Hope you enjoy. I am very excited because today I'm going to a dissertation writer's retreat and they're gonna have like food and stuff for us. It's a three day retreat. I can only come to today and then a little bit of tomorrow, but I'm excited. It's my first time. everybody. <laughs> I am finally about to send off this committee formation letter request to the PhD program director. I hope that she will get back to me soon because I need to then request my proposal hearing date next week. So if I don't have my committee formed, <laughs> I can't really do that. So I'm sending it off and then I'm going to get a little bit of admin work done and I'm going to start working on my proposal again because the rough draft is due tomorrow. Uh, scary. One step closer. <laughs> I had a relatively productive last two hours of writing but I'm gonna take a little bit of a break and, and get some exercise in now. You're so wonderful. A star could never shine as bright as you. Hello, everybody. <laughs> the times are the times are indeed bleak. It is three in the morning. I was supposed to turn in a rough draft of my proposal by Friday. Obviously now it's Saturday. I'll be sending it off before anyone has a chance to wake up in the morning. I don't have it in me to like fully write out everything. I have most of it written, but I still feel like there's actually a lot that still needs to get written. So for now, I'm just gonna bullet point things so they can kind of see where my thinking is and then I'm gonna go back tomorrow. And then over the next couple of days, realistically, I'm not doing anything tomorrow for this because I spent all day today doing this, but after that, I'll, I'll go back and keep editing and adding stuff before the final version. Hi everybody, it is 1.30 in the morning and I also really need to, <laughs> I feel like I need to stop recording these every time a big thing happens because usually every time a big thing happens, I look completely disheveled. I finally finalized my abstract. I found it quite difficult because I still have a lot of edits to make on my paper. So usually I would write the abstract last because it's literally like supposed to be a summary of what you write and I think that's why I face so much kind of resistance when writing it because I was still kind of working through other elements of my proposal. All that is to say I finally settled on something that I think will be good enough as an abstract and 
I can just clear this off my plate so that I can f spend the next week only focusing on edits for my proposal. But now I'm gonna schedule send the email to my PhD program director and the program manager just with the letter requesting for my proposal date. And in the email, I'm also requesting that my external committee member be able to attend via Zoom. I'm pretty sure she's gonna be able to, but you know, wanna get everything in writing. So <laughs> I'm just looking at how ridiculous I look right now. Um, I'm gonna sign it on my iPad and then schedule send it and then go to sleep. I'm so excited. I went to sleep at like 3.30. <laughs> my sleep has just been all over the place. Went to bed at 3.30 and just woke up on my own at 8.30. Thankfully though, my chair actually got back to me. I guess she ended up having connectivity today, which is great. So she got back to me with some feedback on the abstract and now I can feel confident about submitting it to the PhD program director knowing that my chair actually did approve the abstract. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna submit it now. It's been submitted. The deadlines just keep coming and somehow I make them, but it feels really surreal right now, if I'm being honest. It is July 10th, so it's Monday. I've had a like, pretty productive day so far in the morning. I took care of some work stuff. Now it's about 2.30 and I'm moving into my PhD stuff. I'm currently trying to pick slides, like a slide format and design for my proposal defense. I feel like sometimes I end up spending way too much time choosing a design. There's a lot to choose from on Canva. This was one I was thinking. This is the title page. Maybe this one. There's this one, which is a little bit more traditional. This one. This one I really like as well. I love the I love the colors on this. I'm also looking at Slides Go because I really like theirs. I think I do tend to, as much as I love Canva, I do think I tend to prefer Google Slides because it's easier for sharing purposes. Like it's a lot easier to export. It's a lot easier to just share directly with folks because most people do have like a Gmail account or you can just download the PowerPoint and it usually runs the way it's supposed to run. I have encountered before when I use Canva and then I share it with somebody and they don't have a Canva account and they might not want to make one, then it just kind of turns into like a PDF presentation, which isn't the most engaging necessarily. So as much as I love Canva, I might limit myself to slides go. Okay, three hours later, I finally think I decided on one that I like, but I like the way that it kind of like the title from Thin Coalition to Thick Solidarity, and then you have like thin, this is totally, totally coincidental, but you have like thin strings here, and then thicker stripes up here. So I feel like there's some nice symmetry, I guess, with the art um, as well. But this is, so this is probably what I'm gonna go with. I think I'm gonna leave this here because this in the side, it just feels a little bit too imbalanced. Feels a bit off to me. What do y'all think? Good morning, y'all. It is the morning of my proposal and I originally wasn't going to vlog because I was just feeling very anxious and um, nervous. <laughs> I also just finished my slides and I did everything you're not supposed to do, which is stay up late. Like I went to bed at 2.30. Anyway, I digress, but I realized now that I'm feeling a little bit more confident about it, I honestly think a lot of the issue for me with presentations is the anxiety leading up to it and then you actually do it and usually it's fine. Reaching the point where like it is what it is at this point, I feel actually a lot more honestly comfortable, I guess. I'm gonna try to run through it a couple of times before I leave. So anyway, um, I'm doing that. I am ready to go. My hair is maybe gonna be in a ponytail. I don't know. Um, and I haven't picked out my outfit, but I, I'm not too concerned at this point. I had this whole plan in my mind. I was like, oh, I'm gonna get my nails done, my hair done. It's not happening. It didn't happen, clearly. Maybe for my actual dissertation defense, that will be my plan. But for today, we're just going, it'll be fine. Yeah, I'm meeting up with my friend, one of my friends and cohort mates for tacos before. I think that's actually good so that I'm not like stressing out right before. It'll let you know how it goes. I don't know if I can actually like film 
for the actual proposal. I don't know if I can actually like use my phone or camera to film anything because I feel like it might be just a bit awkward. Too much for me to think about. I also believe that Asian American identity and identity in general is inherently political and that reconciling with issues of colorism and anti-blackness are really essential parts of what it means to be Asian American right now. Reconciling, reconciling. dissertation proposal defense. It feels extremely anticlimactic. I also think it's because there's like a lot of other stuff going around in my head right now. It does feel nice to know that tonight I can just like chill. I still feel like my proposal wasn't very good. They're not making me do any sort of revisions, which is nice because I can just start doing the dissertation now. But I just feel like it wasn't very good. And so it's weird to, it felt weird to be congratulated because I was like mentally prepared for them to list off all these things I need to do and revise and they were like, you're good, don't worry. I'm also like, maybe I'm just tired. <laughs> so after the defense, I went grocery shopping because I had minimal amounts of groceries. Also my friend, is, her train is getting in actually like right now. So I had to go grocery shopping, clean the apartment a little bit. It wasn't like terrible, but just tidy, get her guest room ready. And so now I'm just kind of doing some final touches, but I am very tired. I do think like maybe it'll sink in tomorrow, but now I just can't stop thinking about all the other things that I have to get done. But for now, for now, I'm gonna try and be excited. Even the dark, they still see light. Even the birds still sing at night. Every word just comes out right when I'm with you, with you. I feel <laughs> so lucky I met you and I still um, can't believe that I get to see those eyes from more than tonight. I swear you must have felt from the sky and I feel um, so lucky I met you.